I've got a good amount of box breaks that I've filmed that I feel like are just not quite at the uh, level of quality that I uh, try to achieve in my videos. And so uh, I don't want them to go to waste and so I've decided to make a huge video with all of those box breaks um, that I feel like are just all right, um, nothing too spectacular. Uh, and so I'll have timestamps in the description for every single video if you want to uh, skip ahead to any particular box break. And uh, if there's a video on my channel you should probably skip, it's this one because uh, it's not going to be great, the quality is not excellent, and uh, they were just not videos I felt like would be strong enough on their own. I've got some big plans for the future, and I just want to make sure that my videos remain consistent. So yeah, I hope you enjoy these breaks. And uh, if you do watch them, please leave a comment, tell me which one was your favorite, and yep, yeah, hopefully it's not as bad as I say it is. <laughs> Enjoy the video. Hello everybody and welcome to a box break of 1718 Upper Deck CHL Hockey. Back here with my brother and uh, we've got this box of CHL. Alright. It's definitely a fun product, you can uh, crack the seal open, we are looking obviously for the Alexis Lafreniere um, rookie autograph or any of his rookie cards would be absolutely stellar. And so, uh, yeah, let's see what we're gonna get in here. Yeah. All right, so you can uh, get that sticker. What did you do with I those scissors? <laughs> you wrecked them, that's pretty funny. I don't know what to, oh, I don't know how this, oh, okay. That's pretty yeah. awesome. <laughs> it is pretty. All right. I am completely destroying this box. So. And this is pretty is. much what happens every time you're on the channel. You wreck boxes. You can't open packs. Can't open packs. All right. It's like my trademark. Pop it open. I mean, and uh, are you going to go right or left? This time, I think I want to go right. All right. Just for a change. So do you want to grab your packs out or do you want to yes. see them? All right. And uh, you if you don't mind, I think I, I will start. That's fine. Go right ahead. Push the back. Okay. Let's see if I can... Get better at this for once. Hey. That was a lot better. Opened it up first try like a pro. That time. Sweet. There is a guaranteed autograph per box. So. Which is really nice. Oh, the cards have a special... Uh, oh, weird cool. Feel. Do they? Yeah, they oh. do. They do feel oh. different. Oh, well, that's strange. That is really cool, though. I wasn't expecting that. Nick Thank Suzuki! You. My man. All right. Next, we have Morgan Frost. Cool. This guy. Arnaud Durando. And uh, more players. David Noel. That's an interesting Funny. name. Yeah. yeah, I've never heard of that name, David. And a star Whoa! rookie of Andrei Svechnikov. What a great start. Big hit. <laughs> great, great start. Excellent rookie. Svechnikov rookie. We'll put great that aside. Card. Sick. Next we have Chase Harwell. Svechnikov. Mason McCart. That is awesome. Cardi. Curtis Douglas. Wow. Cool. Great way to start off the box. Very first pack. And so how many boxes? Uh, how many packs are in this box? Sixteen, it seems to be. Sixteen and twelve cards per pack, I believe. Sweet. Which is very interesting. Uh, we don't normally see these many cards in, um, in packs, which oh, is really interesting. Card that's a nice heart. one. Definitely a nice one. Ryan McLeod. Or McLeod. McLeod. <laughs> uh, Ivan Lodnia. Oh, I got his auto. That's pretty All right. Cool. Uh, next we have Jordan Sambrook. Yep. Yeah, he's, 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 he's with yeah. Pittsburgh now. I'm in the Galchenyuk trade. And oh, I like these answers. We have a uh, top prospects game of Michael Rasmus Rasmussen or Rasmussen. I don't know. Rasmussen. That's cool. All right. You can uh, yeah put that aside. That's pretty cool. And the rest, I believe, is all base. Awesome. Very cool. I do like these um, the look of these cards. I tend to like simple designs because. Oh, it's just my type. From above. Um, and it's nice seeing non Ooh, NHL players. Box. That is an too. Ottawa prospect now. Uh, right. And uh, a star rookies of Ryan Francis. Okay. The configuration got changed in 18-19 uh, for um, 16 cards per pack and 12 packs per box, so I yeah. found that really interesting. They're jumbo uh, packs. But. But CHL is known for their big, big sets, and um, yeah, it's nice that up there. They're really good CHL for collectors. Back. Yeah, and I noticed how 
AHL and CHL, although they don't have, they might not have a lot of variety for the inserts, they are very good for set collectors if ever you're interested in collecting a full set of base cards. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I think it's 400 or 500 for this set. It is 400 on the box. Threw the packs on the ground. Uh, did I miss something? Okay, promising futures. Philip Zadina. Awesome. Great player. It, this is this isn't considered a rookie card, right? No. All right. I'll put it in the injured pile. I'm guessing. All right. Uh, another Michael McLeod and Justin Puzzle. I almost... Cool. All right. Well, these packs are. Uh... Well, you're doing a decent oh, job yeah. opening them for once. Um. It's you also satisfying. wreck corners. That's your thing. You wreck corners as you get the cards out. So <laughs> it's a lack of experience. That's the problem. Maybe I should be on the channel more. Wink, wink. I'm kidding. And another. Oh, Cody Glass. Top you can, uh, prospects. You guys can all vote in the comments below. Do you want to see David more on the ch <laughs> on the <laughs> channel? A yes for yes and a no for no. Pretty straightforward. Oh wow! Already three packs remaining, I believe. Yeah, and you have not hit an autograph, which hopefully you don't, because I want to hit it. I want the auto. I'm guessing the reason why normally when we do breaks together, I tend to get the hits is because I go on the left side. Uh, Maybe and for left some is reason, Upper Deck seems to be hiding their hits on the left side. That However, does seem to be oh, oh, and the star rookies. Yeah, because Denny. Cool. Yeah. Do star rookies come uh, one in every two packs? Is that it? I believe so, or something like that. Oh my god. We, uh, by the way, we got a... Oh! High gloss. Oh! Number three out of ten. Look at that! That's a hit. One off of the, um, the, the jersey number, but yeah, Dennis Chalowski, that is... All right, we had to pause this for a second. Uh, phone ran out of storage. This is insane. Yeah. Dennis Chalowski had a very good year. He played uh, just about 50 games for the Red Wings, and... He's a promising young star, and that is his star rookie, so yeah. his CHL rookie card, and a high gloss number to 10. The fact that the it's a high gloss, and not just an, a UD exclusives, and it's a rookie card that we got, is pretty fantastic. Wow. That is insane. Keep on going. Alright, next we have Nicholas Gay. And, yeah. All right. Uh, oh, no. I thought I was done for a second. Oh, I, what I was looking at is uh, top prospects. Did you come one and two? Yeah, star rookies. Sorry. So, so, yeah. That's what I meant. Um, top pr prospects. Are a bit more hard to get. All right. Let's see if I can get a hit. No, save the hits for me. <laughs> I don't want the right side to be the best for once. Come on. Oh, and we've got uh, star rookies of Riley Damiani. Out of uh, the Rangers. Kitchener Rangers. The OHL. They've got, cool. like, the exact same jersey, it seems. Yeah, almost. very similar. Very, very similar, yeah. Oh, Barrett Hayton. Yeah, fifth overall pick right. back in 2018. All right, final pack for me. All right. Let's uh, hope that you don't get the autograph. <laughs> Please, come on, don't wreck me again. He might have already won this with the Chalowski. All right, Jet Wu. What a great name. Hey, hey Jared. Oh, Austin Dolan. Yeah. Keep going. Oh, no, I don't think I have it. Ian Scott. I like Ian Scott a lot. Promising Sam Steele. Future. Sam Promising Steele. Future. Thank God. I, uh, I at least got something out of this. Cool. Unless it got tampered with, <laughs> which is uh, unlikely. Alrighty, we'll stop it up and get right into it. Alrighty, second half. This is now my half. We've switched spots. I'm now on the right side. Hopefully you can uh, film nice and still. That's perfect. All right. Still All looking right. for an autograph. Nate Schnarr, Ryan Merkley, Tyler Benson. And nice. Wow. Star rookies of Dylan Cousins. The, I believe, seventh or ninth overall pick this past year, Noah Dobson. He went to uh, Buffalo. So that is pretty cool. Just throw the pack on the ground. Okay. So I've got eight packs total, done one, so seven to go. Evan Fitzpa uh, Fitzpatrick. Beautiful name. Cole Fonstad, Montreal Canadiens prospect, Alexandre Halley. And star rookies of Xavier Simano. Cool. Really nice. I've never actually seen a high gloss in person, so that is... 
Well, I mean, that Chalowski is oh, a super I nice card. I just remembered card. something. What now? I believe Bowen Byron's Star Rookies is in here. Oh, so well. So that's definitely a card I would like to see. Or an auto even better. Zachary oh, Cox, actually, Star Rookies. And there's our auto. It is Logan Stanley. Okay. So that is a name I have heard of. I'm not sure who he plays for now. I will write that down okay. in uh, the video. But uh, yeah, that is, I mean, again, I have heard of the name Logan Stanley. It is a sticker autograph. So it is uh, not as nice as your... Bowen Byer, my... Uh, no, your Bruce Dennis or... Chalowski. Oh, my de yeah. Gloss, yeah. Right here. But um, it is an auto nonetheless. And uh, yeah. Yeah. At least it is a player I have heard of. Maxime Gontois. Actually, I'm not even sure if Bowen Byram has an auto in here. Akil Thomas. Wow. Thomas and Futures. All right. And tons of base. There is a lot more variety in this than um, a product like AHL, actually. Yeah, I really don't like AHL. It is uh, not my cup of tea. Let's keep on going. Jake Bean. And star rookies, Alex Bocage. And some base. Oop. All right. Couple packs left. How many? I think three. Yeah, just three packs left. So as I toss the box great around. Dancing box. There you go. That's how you do it. Maybe we can get a bonus autograph. You never know. Sometimes you do get bonus hits out of this stuff. That would definitely be very very nice. Cole Lind. It's pretty cool. Joe Valeno. Nice. Justin Zuchalm. Star rookies. And Kevin Ball. And uh, I remember really, really wanting Joe Valeno to sign with the Colorado Avalanche. I think last year when he got drafted. Oh, you mean uh, yeah, him getting drafted? When he uh, got pushed back by a lot. And uh, the Avs ended up going with Martin Kaut instead. Henry Yoki Harju. And uh, he ended up going to Detroit. Final pack. Let's see if I can beat that Chalowski in this final pack. Odds are probably not. No Lafreniere in this box, unfortunately, unless we hit something here. Drake Batherson, that's pretty cool. Josh Brook, another Montreal Canadiens prospect. Gabriel Velarde, Liam Foody. Star rookies. Darn. Well. <laughs> All right. Definitely an interesting product. And, uh, oops, as uh, the cards are definitely slipping. <laughs> um, that sure was led by this incredible high-gloss Star Rookies. I'm going to open up uh, Gems of the Game repackaged products featuring one graded card and eight factory sealed packs uh, as I drop the box. <laughs> this is 25 bucks Canadian at my local Walmart and uh, I'm going to have to see if it's worth the money. Uh, it's really, really hot out so I'm uh, trying to do this pretty quickly and uh, I'll get the wrapping off so that we can get right into the pack. All right, the uh, seal has been taken off. And, uh, well, we're simply going to have to see if uh, this is going to be worth the money. I doubt it, as uh, these repackaged products are usually not worth it at all. But uh, let's see what we get getting right into our box. Um, let's get the graded card out first. We've got... Uh, Zdeno Chara, base MVP, uh, graded 10 mint or better by BCCG. Um, definitely strange. Uh, I'll see if I can put this in the sun. There you go. Um, yeah, I don't know what to think about that. Well, I mean, that's my graded card. <laughs> okay. Um, and then we do have one of these 06, 07 NHL rookies jumbo, uh, Cards. I've got a ton of these from playing different uh, mystery boxes, and uh, you know what? I'll try and get all of our packs out at once. So, oh, here we go. Okay, packs are out, and uh, it does not look promising to start. We've got 0809 Victory. Uh oh, that's never good. Another 0809 Victory. That's scary. All right, we've got 1314 Prism Retail. Okay, let's uh, see any good odds here. Doesn't say the odds, I don't think, so we'll have to see if we 
hit anything out of prism and another prism pack next we have 0708 Fleer Ultra um, all right trying to help the packs up on the dashboard of the car we've got 1314 score another 1314 score and a third pack of 1314 score and then we've got three packs of uh, go for gold 1996-1997 coins so I think that's more than eight packs we've got three of those three of the scores um, let me see, six seven eight nine ten eleven packs so uh, they did give us more than we expected which is always fun um, you don't necessarily expect that from uh, repackaged products uh, we start with victory all right so hold the phone let's see what we get out of victory definitely probably not something amazing because it's victory We've got Joe Thornton cards are uh, getting stuck together Patrice Bergeron and that is stuck to a UC Okanen base card and uh, with one hand trying to remove these it's not gonna happen we've got Martin Gerber stuck to a Milan Lucic card and uh, oh as I totally wrecked the corner of it we've got a game breakers of Paul Korea Let's move into our second pack of victory. Joe Sackick. Peter Mueller. Uh, you know what? Oh, Ray Whitney and rookie Pete Vandermeer. Never heard of Pete Vandermeer before. Um, Prism. I've never opened Prism before. This is going to be interesting. I did grab two boxes of this stuff, so... Uh, can expect one more of, uh, of this coming up in the next couple weeks. Here we go. We've got John Carlson. Is it stuck to anything? No. Nope. A rookie, Michael Scarbosa. David Krejci. And Carl Haglin. These are some uh, definitely nice cards. I do like Prism. Um, I don't know if there's anything that's worth much. I don't know if there's anything that's worth much in the product, but it does look... I mean, the cards look very nice. Oh, we've got some sort of ad at the back. Let's see if that means anything special. Probably not. Oh, as I completely twist the cards around. We've got Ryan Nugent Hopkins. Cool, Getting Malkin, Pivotal Players. Next, we have Adam Larson. We're going to flip them around. And to finish off Prism, we've got Jakob Kindle. Or Jacob Kindle. Probably Jakob. With the way it's spelt. Alright. Now we are on to 0708 Fleer Ultra. I do know uh, you can get hits in there. So. We'll have to see if we get lucky at all as I completely shred the pack. We've got Sheldon Suri, um, Patrice Bergeron. I don't really feel like twist oh, oh well. I'll have to. We've got Mika Kiprasov, Gold. Why do the cards have to be flipped everywhere? We've got Noah Welsh and Mike Richards. Again, nothing too great in there. As we will move on to, let's go with the score packs. Three packs of score. Anything great? Probably not, but uh, there is a very rare chance at an autograph. And I've opened so much score from this year. We'll have to see if we get anything. We've got Tyler Myers, Gabriel Landeskog. Not gonna flip this. Semyon Varlamov. Ray Whitney, they're upside down, that's okay. Alex Emlin, Adam Henrique, Boston Bruins team leaders, Alex Hemsky Gold, James Neal, Simon Desprez, 
Chris Russell and Corey Schneider. All right, first pack of score done. I'll just set these aside. We didn't get anything great out of there. And let's move on to the second pack of score. 13, 14. Come on, autograph. <laughs> We've got Marian Hosa. Come on. David Krejci. David Jones. Uh, Aaron Rome. Steve Bernier. Alec Martinez and Ricard Raquel, hot rookies. Cards are every which way. Peter Mueller, Chris Neal, Maxime Talbot, Kyle Wellwood, and Patrick Berglund. So I, what I'm really wondering is um, if the packs in the second box, as I cannot even grab these cards, I'm wondering if the packs in the second box will be identical to the ones we received in the first one because uh, I feel as though many repackaged products don't have the variety from one box to the next and it's uh, well, I'm wondering if it's going to be the same in the next one. Alright, final pack of score, Gregory Campbell, Nathan Gerby, Jack Johnson, Kari Lettinen, Justin Williams, Alex Yemlin. Brian Lashoff, Hot Rookies, Jamie McGinn Gold, Kyle Chipchura, Craig Adams, Andre Palat. This is a really weird card. And at the end, we've got JVR. Yeah, this is a really weird card. It's a rookie card. Palat's rookie year. Yet, it's not a Hot Rookies, and Palat does not have a Hot Rookies. So I've always been uh, confused as to why um, Panini decided to make that card. So I'll uh, pick up the rest of the scorecards and now we've got our three coin packs to finish off this box. So far has been very underwhelming but uh, I mean this is usually what happens with repackaged products. They're never great and so uh, we'll have to see if we get anything. These are very long packs. Let's see what we get. Oh, I dropped the coin here. We've got our first coin. We have, let's see if it tells us here. We've got Ed Belfour. I forgot to show it on camera. Here we go, Ed Belfour. Coin. Cool, feels, uh, eh, honestly, doesn't feel that it, premium it feels a little cheap but uh, there you go that's that's a coin here and then we've got two more let's see what we get in the other two um, well, there's a chance that a Patrick Roy or a Wayne Gretzky those two would be probably my two uh, most wanted ones uh, so if we get another checklist and we've got this time I'll try to get my uh, finger out of the way of the camera. We have, who's this? Jerome Iginla. Cool. Oh, all right, and the final one. Let's see who we're gonna get in this final pack. We have, it's upside down. David Wilkie, not a player I'm familiar with. There's the back. All right, well that does it. This is uh, what you get basically in a gems, as I block it again. This is what you get in uh, a gems of the game championship collection repack. The box of Be A Player Memorabilia. It's a uh, set. It says uh, featuring 100 cards, and I'm pretty sure hits come one in five. I'm not 100% sure on that, but uh, we'll have to see if we get anything. There is, I believe, um... All right, so all the cards come right in here. And uh, yeah, there's a bonus pack at the bottom. So here you, there's a nice bonus pack, and uh, there's a chance that hits in that pack. So let's 
set the box here in the back and uh, let's start with the 100 card base set. I won't go through the names, I'll just show you the, uh, the cards and then we'll open up our um, special pack that may include a hit of some sort. Hopefully it does, if it doesn't, well, still a nice 100 card set right here. So here are the cards, we got Henrik, Henrik Sedin, oh, and they're all so stuck together. Just grab a bunch here, and uh, yeah, just nice old school cards. Camera shifted a little, sorry about that. Uh, I'll try and move it back if I can. There you go. And uh, yeah, just here's the look at the base cards, not going to show you all of them. Here is the back of the base. And uh, let's put the base right aside, and let's get into our single pack. Let's, uh, we'll have to see if we get anything. It's really thin, so probably not a hit. Birds are going crazy in the background. We have a decoy at the back. And so we have Rick DiPietro. And, oh look at this. Wow! Authentic game jersey of Al McInnes. Wow, look at that. I was going to pull it apart. I thought there were more than one cards in here. Awesome. Game used jersey card. Sick. <laughs> I did not expect that coming out of uh, Be a Player of Heroes and Memorabilia. Or Rookie and Memorabilia, sorry. Rookie and Traded, whatever. But uh, wow. That's awesome. Well then. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome back to another unboxing. This one is of 1213 certified. Back again with my brother, of course. And um, we got 10 packs in this box of Panini certified 1213. Five cards in every pack. And we get four autograph or memorabilia cards in a box. And <laughs> don't know why you did this to the scissors. You broke the scissors and now they're... <laughs> crazy and you can't even work with them so that kind of sucks but I wanted to open certified for a very long time I just never really got my hands on a box now I got one let's uh, see what we're gonna get the 10 packs just come like Ooh. this so oh, wow. um, yeah it's definitely different, different yeah. and uh, maybe I can put the back cover here in the back if I can come on here you go. I don't want to squeeze the pack. Okay. Okay, perfect. There you go. There should be 10 packs here. We got two, we got four, six, eight, and ten. Um, I'm just gonna do the first five, you do the last five. How does that sound? Fair enough. Cool. Let's get right into the packs are kind of squished to be honest, so that's unfortunate. Yeah, it's weird. And uh I'll show you the look of the base cards. This is the base. I've already seen them though. And uh, we can get hot boxes. We do not get one though. Where all of the boxes are replaced by. Uh, all of the hit, uh, the uh, base are replaced by parallels. This is an Immortals of um, Phil Esposito number 299. Number 770 out of 999. Very cool. And after that we got some more base. Shane Doan. David Backus. Okay, I'll get down. It might be easier. Alright, second pack. We do have a hit here. Probably a jersey. But you never know. Antoine Vermet. Ovi. James Neal. No, we don't. I'm a liar. We got a decoy. Have that in Myers. Alright, third pack. This was a very weak rookie class, so any rookie autos will be pretty terrible and uh, oh I did see one Callahan Hosa and certified signatures it is not a rookie auto but it is of Cody Eakin who is a decent player shown with the the uh, Washington Capitals but it says Dallas Stars at the bottom here it says traded to Stars on June 22nd 2012 cool card Cody Eakin 
definitely better than the terrible um, rookie autograph from the very bad rookie class. But uh, there are some better cards to find. For sure. This is already my second to last pack. And it's a fairly short break. We got Taze, Cranland, oh. and the red parallel of Christopher Stieg, numbered to 199. This is 124 out of 199. Very neat. Palmanville and Wojtek Wolski. All right, my final pack. Let's see if I can get a second hit here. Maybe. I have no idea. I think it's another decoy, though. So, once again, you might be beating me on hits. <laughs> Skinner, Alfredson. Oh, oh, no, we got something. James Reimer. This is interesting. And, okay, Chet Pickard. It is a Preds. Five jerseys. Preds threads. And, uh, yeah, that's funny. Numbered to 150, 132 of 150. Chet Pickard. Fabric of the game. Is this game used? No, not even. Event used, so that kind of sucks. Um, event used material. At least it looks nice. <laughs> yeah, it does look nice for sure. Okay. Um, well, that was my first half. Not too exciting, to be honest. Let's get into yours. See what you get here. First pack. We still have two hits to go. All right. Uh, Matt Martin, René Bourque, and we've got a numbered card of Henrik Sedin, number 410 out of 999, certified certified stars. Cool. Interesting card. And a decoy. Jeff Carter, and finally, Brandon Mora. Okay, decent. Um, not the most exciting hit so far, though. There definitely could be some better cards in this. Alright, Ryan gets laugh. Bobby Ryan and wow, Casey Sezikis. Freshman signatures. Okay, well he's still a decent fourth liner for the Islanders. And Number is out of three fifty seven out of nine ninety nine, yeah. Okay, well I'll put it here. Not the most exciting card, I have to be honest. Chris Latang and Andrew Ladd. All right, we got three packs left. Come on, let's get some big mojo here. Yeah. It's been a rubbish box so far. None of the hits have come from any actual um, decent NHL players. Zizekas is okay, but nothing too good. All right, and we've got a certified icons of Bobby, Bobby Hall. Hall. Cool. Number 250. Uh, yeah, 250. Cool, but not when you buy what you buy this box for. Moving on. Kukoi base. Move. Two packs to go. Come on. I don't think there's anything in this one. I think it's the last one that's going to have a big hit. But you never know. Alright, let's see what you're going to get in this one. Oh. Destroy this pack. Oh, no, you got something in here. It's really thick. No, you don't. Oh, I don't know. It might be a decoy. I'm, I'm just a <laughs> totally... I've got no idea what I'm saying. Drew Doughty. Drew Doughty. Logan Couture. Eric Stahl yeah, and... Uh, oh. Uh, no name. Well, I mean, I don't know. No, he's a decent... Well, he used to be a decent player. Good I name. don't. White swatch, though, so... Super lame. Fabric game. <laughs> I'm sorry, that made me laugh. Uh, City Crosby and Jonathan Bernie played with the Avs. All right. Come on, so just rock you said abs. I meant Kings Burn. Yeah, but he played with the abs. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I did make a couple nice saves with the abs. Come on. Get something that'll save this box. Uh it doesn't look like it. Seems nah, like a deep. Yeah. Oh uh, god. Dang it! So like Kevin Yeager, Jerome again, though. Uh and oh, you like these cards. I do, but Path to the Cup. But Whiteman, cool. That was horrid. I'm done. Bye bye. Oh no. <laughs> Alright. Let's uh, get these packs out. I guess it's from the top. Oh, nope. Probably the bottom. There we go. All packs are here. Oh. That's so frustrating. These used to be $25. Definitely would not be worth it for $25. Let's just put the packs on top and. Go through it. It's going to be a really fast video because 
I don't care, it's artifacts and I'm gonna go really fast because artifacts is terrible. All base. Pack number two. Oh, are we missing a card? Oh no. Missing a card in a pack. This means it may have been tampered with, which would absolutely suck. I didn't look at the wrapping before, which was probably a mistake. And, uh, yeah, that's really unfortunate if we do end up missing all of our cards. We have a nice prim ice uh, preview card of Jonathan Bernier, whatever. Oh. Only four cards in the pack. That's that's not normal. I'm sure there's something up with there. Either upper deck made a mistake, or someone's been into this box before me. Halfway through the very fast break, uh, I'm losing patience over artifacts. Oh, cool! Jeff Carter, Ruby parallel, out of five ninety nine. I totally don't care. I'll base. Okay. Let's see if we can get something that'll make up for how terrible this product is. No well base. Great. Sorry, I'm not even showing the cards. I'm breaking over, I don't even care. It's uh this is gonna be a horrible video, I don't even uh, so bad. And that's it. Cool. This is a blaster of uh, artifacts, this is what you get. Bam bam. Goodbye. Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. This is a special one. We've got 1516 Fleer Showcase Hockey. 12 Love packs it. per box. Upper deck logo in his mouth. <laughs> we do. And a five cards per pack. And I'm really looking forward to this one. Um, it's going to be super nice. We're obviously chasing McDavid. Unfortunately, there are redemptions in this product. And if we do get a patch auto of Panarin, Rantanen, just to name a few, there are going to be redemptions and they're going to be expired, which completely sucks. Don't. Yeah, exactly. Hoping for, hoping for either the McDavid, the Domi, or uh, even the Larkin would be nice. A good, good decent one. Even... Connor Hellebuck. So it's a good rookie class. Hopefully we get a good patch autograph. They, they fall one per box, as said right here. And you get two short prints, number two, just two ninety nine in, uh, oh, sorry, tier two short prints that you can find. There are usually three hits per box. Um, yeah, two additional autograph or memorabilia cards out of the bottom. And uh, yeah, as there are only 12 cards, I'm sorry, 12 packs in a box. Um, I guess I'm just going to pick the right side and you're going to go left in this yep. break. That's how it's going to be. I will uh, try and rip off the wrapping. Jeez, that was difficult. And this break could be extraordinary and could be horrific. That's how it goes with your showcase. And uh, we'll get the crown out so that Larkin looks like a king. There you go. Beautiful. And I kind of ripped the box there. That is unfortunate. Dylan Larkin, more like Dylan Larkin. Oh, that was horrible. That was a horrible pun. All right, I'll try to stop. First pack, come on. All right, might have a jersey here. I think we do. Bring Holby, this is the base. They are decent looking base cards. I like them. And like we got Monahan, Hosa, and a rookie jersey is Robbie Fabry. Interesting. Cool. Event Warren, of course. Yeah, rookie photo shoot, so. Not the best, but still decent. We got Rene, Kadri, Bufflin, and Teresango. Alright, you can do your next pack here. Alright, I'll go. I'll hold the uh, top left. Phone. Okay. Oops. Okay. 
Jacob Voracek, Jonathan Huberto, and... That was a weird way of saying his name. <laughs> Sergei Plotnikov, that is a Metal Universe card. So. Okay. And a decoy. Wayne Gretzky and Shane Doan. Cool. All right. My turn. Oh, look out. You're covering the sound. Oh. Yeah. All right. Adam Henrique, Ryan Kessler, Sidney Crosby, Flare Showcase insert. So I guess we'll just put the generic inserts here. Ben and Corey Perry. All right, you can keep on going with your left side. See if you get anything here. We've gotten one so far out of our three promise hits. And uh, no sight of a patch autograph yet. And we've got Nick Ritchie. Okay. Another one of these metal. Metal card. universe cards. Cool. Again, Chris Tang and Nick Ritchie. Bergeron. Cool. All right. Oh, come on here. No way. Finger got to go to the shout out. Finger is real. Yeah, exactly, eh? We've never done one of those. All right. Oh, cool. Max Domi. Metal Universe. These are not worth anything, really, but a lot and quick. Domi I am a fan guess. of Domi, and uh, that is pretty sweet. Cool. All right. You can do your third pack out of six. So uh, after this pack, we'll be at the halfway mark already, I believe. Wow. And, uh, oh, okay. Gabriel Landis got a great player. Uh, Zach Parise, and we've got a shiny Henrik Rare Lundqvist. Showcase. Henrik Lundqvist, okay. Base. Okay. My turn, I'm going to go the bottom right. Oh, the box is flopping. Floppy box. Dylan Larkin does not want to be taken anywhere. Here is our patch autograph. Oh, fake patch auto. Come on, be a McDavid. Be a McDavid. That definitely would be fantastic. John Carlson. John Tavares, and we got no, uh, wow, 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 Slater Cuckoo out of 4.99 patch auto, sticker auto and patch, um, I'll just set that over, that kind of sucks, that's, that's a bummer, yeah, it's either like a great rookie or bust in this, so. that sucks, Really sucks. Cuckoo was uh, supposed to be a pretty good player when he was drafted, I believe in 2012, and uh, never really panned out. So, that's unfortunate. Yes. Sidney Crosby, Ben Bishop, I seem to have something here. Corey Crawford, Brock Nelson, and, oh! Okay. Bernie, a jersey. Bernie. I mean, played with the app, so. Yeah, nice jersey. card. Uh, just White swatch, yeah, out of 99. Cool. And Terry Hall, and more base. Okay. Okay. Well, uh, this box is going to be pretty bad unless we get some sort of Mega McDavid or bonus hit or something, but yeah, it's not looking good. Hot right, prospects, duos, this is Anthony Biteto and UC Saros out of 399. Nice cool. looking card. I'm just going to do my last pack. Yeah. Yeah. No points in uh, switching over all the time. We already got the patch auto and it was pretty bad. Another Slater Cuckoo. This is the Flare Showcase rookie. And Carey Price base. All, all right. right. My two last packs. I'm trying to do this pretty quick. Yeah. Not Another, expecting anything specific. Another disappointing video. Base, base, and Robbie Fabry, blue. Yeah, this is a blue pre precious. Oh, and it's out of 50. Yeah, it is. So, at least we got another numbered card there, but still. I'm not going to save this break from being uh, horrible. And really, just nothing good in this box. Oh, which is frustrating. Oh, uh, and we've got out of 399, yeah. Logan Shaw, Yanni Gold. Cool, decent players, but whatever, not worth anything. Yeah, it's a McKinnon. That sucked. Artifacts is just pretty terrible at the retail level, if I'm honest, and uh, I'm not expecting anything out of this break. There are eight cards in uh, every blaster box and five cards per pack. Um, I'm just going to get right into it because it is Artifacts, and Artifacts is usually...
All right, so the seal is off, and uh, here, I have to open it up like this on the side. Here are our packs, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All eight packs are in the box. Let's get them out. And uh, if I can close the box, <laughs> yeah, I'll take it away. After a uh, <laughs> huge moment of uh, struggling, I got the box closed. Let's put the packs right on top and uh, let's just go super quickly. I'm not going to wreck them like uh, some other YouTubers might do, but uh, I'm not going to stick on artifacts for too long. We've got Ryan Kessler, Jonathan Taze, Ray Bork, Jeff Carter, and Wayne Gretzky. Here's the back of the base. And uh, again, these are horrible. Don't ever buy them, and this should be proof of uh, why. Uh, because they're not good at all. Marian Hosa, Bobby Ryan, Matt Duchesne, Dino Cicerelli, and Ron Francis. Next pack. Still nothing so far, as is expected with artifacts. Milan Lucic, Alex Tangay, Maxim Talbot, Jordan Stalin, Brendan Shanahan. Terrible. Next pack. Don't ever buy these. These are uh, so bad. I really hope Upper Deck does something about artifacts at the retail level. Drew Doughty. Ryan Getzlaff, Dustin Brown, Nick Backstrom, and Evgeny Malkin. Still all base four packs to go. Nothing but base so far. Usually you do get at least a numbered parallel of some sort. And, oh, come on. What do we have here? Oh, my God. Come on. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? How rare, how rare are these? I... One in 1,000 packs, and it's expired. Expired in 2014, I don't know if you guys can read that, I can. It's an autofax of Cody Hod Hodgson. Well. That really sucks, Larry Robinson, Steve Ott. Oh God. Well, we hit a pretty insane card in this blaster, but just ended up being expired. All base. Oh, sorry about the cat in the background. He really wants attention. Oh, I can't even get this pack opened up. Oh, that's so frustrating. Oh, we actually hit something out of artifacts, but it was expired. That just sucks. That is terrible, terrible, terrible. And nothing. Just what you get out of a blaster of 12, 13 artifacts. An expired autographed redemption falling one in 1,000 packs. And mm, pretty small stack of base cards. Never hit an expired redemption before. That really, really, really sucks. Probably nothing Upper Deck can do about it. So, uh, damn. That would have been so sick had it been a, an auto fax in friggin' packs. Ah, well. Product, this is the gems of the game. Uh, repack. Okay, the seal has been removed. Back here in my car again. This is right after uh, filming the first box of this stuff. And uh, let's see if it is going to be just as bad. Hopefully it's better. But I'm not expecting it to be. Let's start with our graded card. We have... Huh. Okay. 2005-2006 Upper Deck Phenomenal Beginnings of Sidney Crosby. 10 mint or better. I have no idea where these cards come from. Um, I'm guessing it was... An insert in probably series two or something, or maybe uh, uh, a complete set. But uh, yeah, similar to maybe the uh, Conor McDavid collection set. Um, 
Yeah, I think that's better than the MVP base card we got last time. Alright. That's gotta be decent, at least. It's Sidney Crosby, right? Uh, okay. Another one of these. Cool. And let's get our packs out. Hopefully, the packs are going to be better this time than they were last time. But getting them out, it seems like we've got more or less the same stuff. Oh, no. Okay. Close up the box. Oh. And I'll put it right back up here. Let's see what we got in our pack. As I suspected, we've got the same exact packs as last time. Well, let's get right into it. I'll open up the uh, coin packs first. And uh, yeah, this is unfortunately a big waste of money. Um, I was just I was hoping for at least a bit of variety in the packs, but it seems like it's the same thing every time. We have our pack, another Jerome Iginla, which I got in the first box. Okay, hopefully I don't get Ed Belfour and David, uh, David Wilkie. We'll have to see, but uh, yeah, so a duplicate already which is never fun. And uh, unless you're getting a Conor McDavid Young Gun duplicate, that's always fun. But uh, here we got Jim Campbell. All right, and the last of the coin packs. Until we get into the terrible victory. Oh, coin is stuck. We have... Here's the back to the front we have. Oh, come on! David Wilkie. Another duplicate. As I'm trying to get it to focus, but there we go. Ah, oh, that sucks. I wonder if uh, they are even random at all. At all. And the colors are stuck together, so I'll have to. Oh, did you hear that? My goodness. Alright, Nick Backstrom. Oh, that's funny. Nick Backstrom and Nick Backstrom. That is very funny. Nicholas Backstrom here, the goaltender. He just retired from professional hockey. And, uh, yeah, that's... Many people don't remember that there were uh, two Nicholas Backstroms. This one being a go uh, goaltender for the Minnesota Wild. He, Minnesota Wild, he won uh, the Jennings Trophy in, in a year. If I can get these cards um, to come off from one another. I think it was... I can't remember what year he got the Jennings Trophy. But he was a really good goaltender for a bit. Okay, um, yeah, so we got the other Backstrom, Mikko Koifu, Bill Guerin, Matt Stajan, and we've got an insert here that is completely stuck. It is Game Breakers of Pavel Datsuk. Okay. Very underwhelming. <laughs> but I guess that's why uh, they took victory out. Of, uh, products and doesn't exist anymore. Oh, okay. We, oh, yeah, forgot about these cards being completely stuck together. Oh my goodness. Can't even get to anything. Uh, you know what? Uh, where's Galov to start things off? Where's Galov? Rip it. Brindamore, Eric Stahl, Ray Whitney. Saku Koivu, Tyler Plant, victory rookie. All right, done with the garbage. Let's move on to, well, I guess some more garbage. Um, some Fleer Ultra. All right, we have... Cool, nothing great again. We've got Duncan Keith, Fessa Toscala, amazing goal he allowed against the Islanders when he was with Toronto. Um, Rafi Torres gold, Jason Spezza, and Vaclav Prospel. Okay, this is done. 
now we got three packs of score and two of prism and then I can uh, go home totally regretting to have spent 50 bucks on these two horrible boxes unless somehow score or prism totally resaves us which I doubt it will Tim Jackman you eat Lusty, Trevor Daly, Cam Atkinson, Dustin Penner, Craig Smith, Mikhail Grigorenko, rookie, getting the Bokov gold, Dex Stepan, Shane Doan, Sammy Salo, Mikhail Grabowski. I've got like eight sets of those base cards and hot rookies, so they're not worth anything to me at all. I'm not even going to put them away, I'm just going to toss them. And let's go to the next pack. Lucas Bisa, Aki Maliu, Alex Goligoski, Andy Green, Mikhail Grabner, and team score, Alex Petrangelo, Michael Jordan, hot rookie, Josh Harding, Gold, Pascal Dupree, Patrick Marlowe, Al Montoya, and Andy McDonald. Wow. These wee packs are horrendous, and it is such a pain to open these. Oh, goodness. I just struggle to even get the pack open. And uh, here we go. Lulon Irving, Bust. Jay Harrison, never heard of him. Eric Branson, Bust. Matt Duchesne, Bad Boys. Tori Mitchell. Ryan Murphy, rookie, Simeon Valamov, gold, James Shepard, Zach Smith, Dan Hamus, Carl Gunnarsson. All right, Prism, please, please save, save me. Oh, goodness, this has been so bad. I really hope I can go home with at least something. Not asking for much here. We have... Mark Shifley, Taylor Beck, rookie, oh jeez, Michael Grabner, Tyler Myers, final pack, Prism, come on, don't do this to me, help me out here, give me something good, my last chance, Nick Backstrom, Anthony Pelusa, rookie, Tomas Vanek, Mark Stahl. Well, my advice is don't ever buy this. This is horrible. Um, I can't believe I bought two boxes of this stuff. A retail box of uh, 1718 Series 1. So I will uh, grab my scissors, cut open the plastic. And uh, let's get it right off here. Here we go. <laughs> Always struggling with the pra with the plastic. Something you see in basically every episode. Let's put the box right back here and uh, open it up. This is the rookie class of Brock Besser. Um, you should uh, see Charlie McAvoy, Nico Hischier. Um, there is Nolan Patrick. I'm not sure if he has a, well, I know his Young Guns isn't in this uh, series, but it might be in, uh, he might have a Young Gun canvas in here. So I'll get all the packs out um, of the box and close the box right up and put the box just nicely in the background. All right, so all of the packs are out. We've got 24 packs in this retail box. We uh, should be expecting six Young Guns and um, I believe a Jersey card in here. I don't know if we are expecting anything else, so let's get right into the opening. Let's see what we get. I have not opened much out of this stuff, so we'll have to see what we get. We got Kyle Brodziak, Mikhail Grabner, Brandon Dubinsky. Jake Gensel, Corey Crawford, Sebastian Ajo, Adam Larson, 
and Ryan Kessler. All base pack to start things off. Let's keep on going. As this is a retail box, we will uh, not have a chance at uh, an autograph or an exclusives or high gloss card. There are many other nice cards to pull. We've got Brad Marchand. Uh, the checklist, 1 to 100. Here's the back of the checklist card. Henrik Sedin. Dustin Brown. And wow, look at that canvas. Beauty canvas of Thomas Grice. And that is a beautiful card, wow, of the mask. Nice Vaughn mask there, that is beautiful. Oh, that's, that's a great looking card, sharp. All right, nice. Right behind Grice we have Carey Price. I always like getting Price cards. Derek McKenzie and Semyon Varlamov. Let's keep on going. We have Ivan Provorov, TJ Brody, Lucas Sedlak, and an Upper Deck Portraits card of Jeff Carter. Here's the back of the portraits. This is uh, probably my favorite year of the portraits cards. I found 1819 to be just a little boring, and uh, yeah, I find 1718 looks really nice. Oliver Ekman Larson. Matt Murray, Paul Byron, and Jake McCabe. All right, fourth pack. We have not hit a Young Guns yet, so. We've got Charlie Coyle, David Backus, Jonathan Taves, Zach Parise. Oh, and we've got a Young Guns here, Nicholas Curdeals of the Anaheim Ducks, number 241. All right, he's a decent player. Not sure if he's still in the NHL, but uh, I have at least heard his name. Vincent Trocek, Mikhail Backlund, and Derek Brassard. Birds are crazy in the background, so sorry about that. I am in the country, so it's a little loud. All right, we've got Jean-Gabriel Pajot, Matt Stajan, Matthew Benning, and Shining Stars of Victor Arvidsson. These were changed to Shooting Stars in uh, 1819, and they came one per box. But I believe these Shining Stars come four per box. We'll have to see if uh, I'm right about that. Victor Arvidsson. Next we have Christian Dvorak, Travis Ajak, Kevin Hayes, and John Carlson. Next pack. Dion Phaneuf, Andre Sequeira, Jert Spurgeon, Andy Green. Oh, nice! Young Guns UD Canvas of Yane Kukanen. I have no idea how to pronounce his name. Actually, never pulled a Young Guns canvas, and nice. It's getting a little quieter out here. But uh, that is a beautiful card. Sweet. Hopefully he uh, becomes a good NHL player. We've got Austin Matthews, Jonathan Huberto, and Troy Stetcher. I was actually wondering, uh, the stats on the back. London, he played 60 games, 62 points, so... Definitely a decent player. Hopefully more of a defensive center, otherwise... Uh, those are not great stats for an offensive center. All right. Next pack. Nice, Philip Dano, one of my favorite Montreal Canadiens players. He is uh, so underrated. Just a great, great player. Boone Jenner, Sean Monahan, PK Subban. Oh, sweet, Max Domi, Riley Shahan. Cam Ward, and Callie Yarncroc, covering his face there. Alright, an all base pack right there. So uh, the Young Gun canvas does not count as uh, one of our Young Guns, so we will uh, have another five Young Guns to find in here.
but it's definitely great to hit a canvas. We've got Zetterberg. Sweet, Miko Rantanen. Andre Vasilevsky just signed, uh, well, as of today, the day I'm recording this, a huge extension. Um, I believe it's $9.5 million per year for, uh, I think it's eight years. So that takes him uh, about to uh, when he's going to start to decline. And we've got a Young Guns right behind of Marcus Sorensen of the San Jose Sharks. Sweet. Leo Komarov. Oh, Corey Perry. Stuck right behind him. Mikhail Bodker and Patrick Alini, who is yet to sign. There has only been one offer sheet this uh, summer, so I'm wondering if anyone else is going to get offer sheeted or if uh, it's just not going to happen. Oh, sorry about hitting the camera there. <laughs> I've got uh, Radic Faxa, Lars Eller with the Washington Capitals. Paul Martin, Joel Ward, and Rasmus Ristolainen, UD Portraits. Talk about a player who might uh, be moved. Well, by the time this video is posted, he might uh, might get traded. So, who do you think uh, is going to get Ristolainen? Maybe, uh, I've got no idea, maybe. But uh, it's definitely going to be interesting to see where he goes. And for what, what, what return. We've got Scott Wilson, Nikolai Kuhlman, and... Zdeno Chara. All right, we are almost half halfway through our packs, and we've uh, we've hit two young guns so far. A nice young gun canvas card, and oh, sorry about uh, hitting the camera again, but uh, we've got Anze Kopitar, Travis Konechny, and here we go, UD game jersey card of Tyler Toffoli. Of the LA Kings. Just a white jersey. Not the best player to get, but uh, it's alright. Next, we have Mitch Marner, who as well has yet to sign. Braden Holtby, and Patrick Berglund. Okay, pack number 11 out of our 24. We've got Flurry, Nick Dowd, Leon Dreisaitl, Braden Point, who is also yet to sign, and a Paul Stastny UD Canvas card. Nick Holden, David Savard, and Joe Thornton. Joe Thornton uh, is also an unrestricted free agent right now, and uh, he's probably going to go back to San Jose, is what I'm guessing, with Marlowe as well. Obviously helped by the fact that uh, that uh, Kevin LeBanc signed for so cheap. We've got Tyson Berry. I'm going to go with uh, Toronto. Adam Lowry. JT Miller. And we've got another Young Guns here. Oh, look at that. I know who it is. Pierre-Luc Dubois. Sweet. Excellent Young Guns card. Such an amazing player. He is going to be a, a big leader in uh, Columbus this year. So that is awesome to hit uh, Dubois' young gun. Kind of wish Montreal could have uh, traded up to pick him in uh, the 2016 NHL draft. But uh, considering he went third overall, I don't think it was uh, it was going to be easy for Bergeron to do that. So That's a very sweet card. Very happy to hit um, that, wow, that's awesome. All right, we've got Brandon Carlo, the Series 1 checklist. This is 101 to 200. Jacob Markstrom, and Jonathan Quick. Halfway through the packs, we've got 12 to go. This is a super long video. Sorry about that, but uh, I've got packs flying everywhere. I guess that's what happens when you do it outdoors, trying to catch them. All right. Jaden Schwartz, Erasmus Ristolainen, Richard Ponick. Oh, things flying everywhere. Let's try and uh, keep them on the side. All right, Calvin DeHaan. Oh, and something stuck right behind. Jeff Carter. 
Shining Stars. Jakob Voracek, Brett Pesci, and Sergey Bobrovsky. I'll try to speed it up a little as uh, there's a thunderstorm watch. I <laughs> decided to do the video outside, so uh, I don't want the cards to get wet, and I don't want to get stuck in a thunder uh, thunderstorm. So, we've got Stephen Johns, Paul Stashny, Wayne Simmons, Matt Niskanen, Eric Stahl, Tori Krug, Nick Schmaltz, and Andrew Shaw, playing soccer. We're doing some sort of uh, thing with a soccer ball. <laughs> Next pack, we've got Philippe Forsberg, Nazem Kadri, Thomas Grice, and an upper deck portraits of Mike Hoffman, followed right by his uh, base card. That's pretty funny. Matthew Kachuk, Patrick Maroon, and Kyle Turris with the Ottawa Senators before he got uh, traded to Nashville. And he's been very disappointing in Nashville. I was a big fan of Turris when he played for Ottawa, but uh, he has not lived up to expectations in Nashville. We've got Spezza, Luongo, Miles Wood, Seth Jones, and Callie Rosen, Young Guns. All right, that's a little disappointing. I've got uh, his already. Drake Kajula, Jason Zucker, and Anthony Beauvillier. Don't like uh, getting doubles of young guns, but it happens sometimes. So, Next pack, we have Jakob Slavin, one of the most underrated players in the league. Maybe Jacob Slavin, I honestly don't know, but uh, he's a great defenseman. Jonas Brodin. Cam Fowler, and UD Canvas, our last one, is of Nicholas Backstrom. It's a great photo <laughs> of uh, Backstrom right there, right up close. Shea Weber, oh, right behind Weber we've got Antoine Roussel, Troy Bauer, and Kevin Fiala. Alright, a handful of packs left, two young guns to go. We don't have any uh, Canvas cards left, and we've gotten our jersey card, so... Um, Hopefully we can get something great here in the end. We've got Kyla Pozo, Brian Little, Pekka Rini, Carl Haglin. Ooh, Tyler Sagan, Shooting Stars, a red parallel. I wonder how uh, I wonder how rare the red parallels are. I'll actually go see on. Uh, I wonder if it says it on one of the packs. Red parallel. We have, okay, so Sagan is a center, red pillow, 1 in 48 packs, so that's a pretty decent pull right there. Probably doesn't go for much, but that's alright. Luke Glendening, Nathan McKinnon, and Anton Strahlman. Pretty terrible photo there. <laughs> okay, we have six packs to go, still waiting for our two last young guns. Anthony Mantha, Brandon Sutter. Brent Seabrook, Horrible Contract, Lee Stepniak, Dan Hamuse, Evgeny Kuznetsov, Alex Petrangelo, and Justin Braun, all base. Alright, five to go. We have Darren Helm, Rickard Raquel, Arturi Lekkonen, and a young guns, Jake Dotchin of Tampa Bay. Alright. Derek Forbort, Paltieri Filipula, Jason Garrison, and Trevor Lewis. Four packs to go. We've got Colton Sevier, Blake Como, Tobias Reeder, Ian Cole, Vincent Trocek is our upper deck portraits card. We've got Latestu, Kucherov, and Soderberg. Three packs left. Let's see what we're going to get. Jeff Petrie, Jack Eichel, Michael Matheson, and JVR, Shooting Stars, Blake Wheeler, Jimmy VC, Jake Allen, and Zach Bogosian. Two packs left. Let's see. If uh, we're going to get anything other than our final young guns. 
Michael Frolik, Clark MacArthur, Alex Golgowski, Taylor Hall, Ryan Hartman, Casey Zizekas, Tyler Sagan, and Alex Killorn. Last pack. Can we get some last pack mojo here? Our last Young Guns is in here. Let's see what it's going to be. I'll uh, move it to the back. So we have Dale Weiss. Loved him when he was with uh, Montreal the first time. Nicholas Backstrom. Matthias Ekholm. Rick Nash. Jay Beagle. Andre Palat. Jason Demers. And... Andreas Borgman. All right, of uh, the Toronto Maple Leafs. So that does it for uh, this break of a retail box of uh, 1718 Series 1. Uh, definitely worth the price. I mean, you don't get uh, much better value than that, for sure. We hit uh, Borgman Young Guns, Jake Dodgen, the Tyler Sagan Red Parallel, Callie Rosen Young Guns, Pierre-Luc Dubois Young Guns, which was definitely the best from the break. Very happy to hit that. Tyler Toffoli UD Game Jersey. Marcus Sorensen Young Guns. Yanni Kukkanen Young Guns Canvas. Nick Cardillo's Young Guns. And, oh, that's got to be one of my favorite cards ever. Beautiful. And uh, there are five cards in every pack. And there are three packs in every blaster box. I'll get the wrapping off. Okay, the wrapping is off. Let's get right into the box so we can uh, get to our packs. And I have no idea how to get into this. Let's try this way. Here we go. Only three packs of certified. I've never opened certified before, but uh, definitely looks nice. We have one pack that is slightly thicker. Top one, we're gonna put it at the bottom just in case uh, we get anything at all. That's uh, of note. Let's put packs right over the box and uh, Fit right into it. This is uh, going to be a faster video with only three packs in the blaster box. And these are the base cards. Wow, great looking base. We've got Matt Martin right here. And uh, this is the back. I kind of wish the back was also uh, foily, but it's definitely nice. Honey Book. And we have an upside down Ryan Getzlaff, Nazim Kadri, and Jonas Siller. Sweet. Second pack. Max Patch ready as I drop my phone. And number to 199, Dion Phaneth. Maybe like a mirror red or something. I don't know. Definitely a red parallel of some sort. Number 194 out of 199. We also have in this pack Mark Stahl and Nick Backstrom. All right, so this should be our hit. Let's see what we get here. Oh, no thick card, so we may have an autograph here, which uh, could be cool. Let's put it in the back, whatever it is. We have Claudio, Dustin Bufflin, Sergey Gonchar, Pavel D Datsuk, and I saw it was this way. Let's. Uh, See what it is. Numbered out of 999. 276 of 999. Tyson Sexsmith. Not great. Freshman signatures. Okay. Well, I mean, at least it's an auto and not a terrible jersey card, but uh, yeah, it's kind of underwhelming. Um, sticker auto, not the greatest goaltender at all. And it goes alongside the other insert from this blaster box, which was the Dion Phaneuf Red Parallel Number 2199. Today we are getting icy, getting icy with it, with uh, some 1718 Upper Deck Ice. Back here again with my brother and uh, looking forward to seeing what we can get in this box. It's gone really down in price. Um, you can find a box for about maybe 80 or 90 Canadian dollars. Um, you can grab a phone here. I'll crack open the box and uh, yeah I mean it is definitely a nice product great base 
great amount of inserts. Um, yeah, it's just a really nice product for sure. I love the base and uh, mm -hmm. I mean the cards just look absolutely great. It's, uh, I actually don't, uh, my memory isn't too clear on what the base look like in this product. And yeah, I well this is that. back in the day where um, everything was acetate and ice including the base cards and so there are acetate base cards and ice. This is a preview for Ultimate, Splendor, SP Authentic. All seven making us jealous of what we, we we would have wanted to pull. Yeah, we're not gonna get. All right, so uh, I'm gonna go actually to the right side to start All things right. off. I'm gonna go first. I'm gonna do my three packs, and you can do your own three. There are six packs in every box, and four cards in every pack. And um, yeah, you can expect one autograph per box, and one exquisite or memorabilia card per box as well. Really, really. This cool. is the base. Look at this. This okay. is a beautiful base. Very interesting. Drew Doughty. And uh, yeah, they're nice and acetate. I can just imagine what a complete set of uh, base would look like. And so we have Marcus Johansson, a decoy, and a Wendell Clark legend sub zero. Okay. That is decent. And a base card right there. Here, do you want to go with yours, or do I just keep on going with the right side? Uh, for a change, actually, I think that'd be fun. Okay. Yeah, okay. Your turn. Let's do your first pack here. I was about to say, oh, well, seems like apparently I'm getting a bit better with the packs. All right. Oh, these cards feel very, very nice. Okay. Uh, we have Jordan Stahl. Evgeny Kuznetsov, great player. I love that guy. And a decoy. And an ice premieres of Jacob Forsbacher Carlson. Out of 499, this is a level 3. Right. So, decent. Nothing great. We are obviously looking for the level 1s out of 99. And finishing off with a Cam Talbot card. Okay. That's pretty good. Um, I'm going to go with my second pack here. This one feels a little thicker. Let's see if we have anything... Nope, just a decoy. Big fat decoy. Now dry cycle, title, and... Wow. Auto. Okay. Oh. Philip Heedle of the Rangers. It is an on-card autograph, numbered out of 299, numbered 111 out of 299. There are some better players to get, but still decent. Um, he does have potential, which is always good. And, uh, yeah, I'll set that down. Got to see, he's got a great auto in my team. Rask, and who's this? Mikhail Backlund. Uh, yeah, pretty decent autograph. Okay. All right. Your well, second pack. Second pack now. Yeah, well, your first pack definitely was uh, better than mine. Let's see if your second pack can be better as well. That would be great. Yeah, for you. <laughs> All right, next off, we've got, uh, or first off, we've got Nick Foligno and a decoy second. Next, oh, Samuel Ble. Cool. He just Ice won the Stanley Cup. Four ninety nine. Four eighty nine out of four ninety nine. Another level three. He uh, is a cup winner, and so that's pretty decent. Mm hmm. Uh, next we've got Braden Shen and Mark Giordano. Is this cool. our second one? No. no. Good. Okay. That is the first Giordano. Okay. All right. My last pack. This is a super quick break. Ice is just such a fast box. And uh, well, with the price being so low, there are some boxes that are not going to be as good as others. And I'm pulling off a of you struggling here with <laughs> my pack opening up. Got the curse. Yeah, I've been cursed. And I do not have the hit, so you will definitely have the last hit. Awesome. Hopefully yeah, it's easy. I have. <laughs> oh, nice. Eric Johnson, Dirk Stepan, and our other ice premieres is a pretty terrible one. John Sebastian D out of 12, 12.99, so no level one. But uh, they are so hard to hit that it's not surprising. And Philippe Forsberg. Okay, so uh, maybe we can hope for like a huge patch here or maybe an, I don't know if there are bonus autographs or any huge memorabilia hits, but honestly, it doesn't seem like a patch. Seems a bit too thin to be. So, uh, oh, it's oh, pretty thick. Actually. It might be an exquisite. Oh, I see. Yeah, it rookie. is an exquisite rookie. All exquisite. right. Jonathan Taze and actually, I want to go 
see the, the other cards first. We've got Sammy Vatanen, Evander Kane, and... Oh, oh okay, that's, Nico that's Heischer. cool. This is very thick for uh Yeah, that's what it is. It's an exquisite card. Uh, rookie card. Oh, okay. I thought I thought they were gonna be, uh, they were gonna have a piece of memorabilia. One. He is one of the better rookies, so I don't know. Was this box worth it? Hmm. You tell me in the comments below. Um, yeah, it was definitely decent. That Heischer was, in my opinion, I'd say probably the best hit of the box. Here you go. These are our five packs. One is significantly thicker. This is the fourth pack, second from the bottom. Um, so we're just going to put that at the bottom. Just because we probably know that's our hit. And uh, let's see if we can get anything out of a blaster of elite. We've got Ryan Getzlaff. These are the base cards. Definitely cool cards. Very, very reflective. Mike Richards. And Craig Smith, rookie. It says stars. I don't know what uh, subset that is. Rookie stars. Very, very nice card. And Craig Smith is uh, one of the better rookies in that class for sure. Rich Peverly and Mark Streit. Pack number two. We have Joe Thornton, Chris Pronger, and... Look at this, Simon Gagne. Uh, die cut card. Pretty sure these are the Aspirations die cut cards. Um, and they're not numbered, but they look very nice. Eric Johnson and Tyler Sagan. Okay, that's the second year card for Tyler Sagan. I definitely miss Panini. They were uh, pretty awesome back in the day. But Ryan O'Reilly. Marion Gabrick and a Keith Kincaid rookie card. It's a blue rookie out of 999. That's awesome. Kincaid just signed uh, with Montreal. He's going to be their backup this year. Hopefully, he can uh, do a very good job. And that's a sweet, sweet, sweet card. I'm very happy with that. 702 out of 999. Awesome. Okay. P. Parento and Jose Theodore. He's a big fan of Theodore. Back when he played. Same with the Panthers. All right, Clark MacArthur, Kim Connolly, Ryan Miller, one of the red die cuts. Eric Carlson and Brad Marshall. Okay, final pack. Guessing probably a new breed jersey here, but you never know. Ilya Brzgalov, Brian Gianta, Joel Ward. Let's go from the back. Martin Brodeur. And uh, the card is in the other way, so I'm actually going to put another back and flip it around. So we can have a bit of a slow reveal here. I think it's this way. Oh no, did I put it upside down again? I sure did. I'm not gonna look. You guys probably saw what it was, but uh, okay, so we have. Oh, it's upside down again. James Van Riemsdyk. There you go. Elite Materials jersey, that is cool. A good medium sized swatch right there. There's the back of the card. And that is pretty awesome actually. To get uh, JVR, was a big fan of him when he was with the Leafs, now he's back with the Philly. So that's pretty awesome to pull. Cool. Awesome. That was a break of Elite. I, I was really happy with that. JVR, definitely the Keith Kincaid, and uh, oh, the <laughs> Craig Smith rookie. Today we have a special box. This is 1819 Upper Deck Artifacts. Definitely excited to open this up. Let's get right into the box. You want to hold the camera up? Yes. I will get into it. And uh, you know what? In this box, I'm going to claim the left side. The last couple I took the right side and the box has been terrible. And um, so I'm going to grab the left side this time and uh, see what we get. Yep. <laughs> So artifacts is really hit or miss. Hopefully we get something extraordinary here. Fingers crossed. But uh, I would not be expecting tons. Let's put it here very far back. There you go. Let's start things off here with artifacts. We got definitely does have probably the nicest and wow cards. Looking Vincent cards. Trocek, number 81 of 165, dual jersey. Two different colors, so that's nice. Game used. 
cool. Carlson, I'll just go with all of my left For sure. side before you do anything. Oh, oh no. Drop this pack. That's not good. But it does not seem to have anything of note unless we have autograph. Kevin Shattenkirk out of 299, 129 of 299. This is a Ruby parallel. All right, third pack. Bit of a thicker card here. Might be a rookie redemption here. Johansson. Oh no, we got an Orm. Ah, uh, Peyton Kelly. This counts as one of our hits, so that really sucks. Damn. Darn. Alexander Barkov. All right, my final pack. Super quick. That was very quick. And again, nothing too thick here. Voracek, Everly, Joe out of 349. My half is horrible. Please, can your half be better? Oh, please, hockey card lo lords, give us oh, the God of an amazing card. last hit. Come on. All right, Devin Dubnik, JT Miller. Jake Tannen. Nice, out of 299. Okay. I want to see if there are any thick packs in here. Okay. You want to get them out? Get them all out here. Put the Oops. box for the back. Uh, they all seem pretty much the same. All right, so just keep on going. The bottom one seems really thin, actually. Yeah, I think the middle one seems like the most promising, in my opinion. Okay. We've got Still looking for a rookie redemption. Tannen and Adam Godet. Adam got it. This is out of 99. 20 out of 99. This is the Ruby, uh, sorry, not the Ruby, the Emerald um, rookie card. Brayden Holtby. Uh, uh, Brayden Holtby. Holtby. Wow, okay, completely butchered that. And Leon Dreisaitl. Next off we got. Oh no. There you go. And is this thick at all? No, it doesn't seem to be. Oh, okay. Oh no. Ricky Redemption. Who's it of? Oh, okay. Svechnikov. Okay. That's decent, but uh, it's about probably a $20 card. This best. doesn't count as our hit, by the way, right? No. This okay. is guaranteed in every box. So, Rookie Redemption card. Decent. You know it would be awesome if we got a Rookie Redemption auto card. Those are super nice and they're, well, they're pretty rare. And we could get like a Kotkaniemi, which I would love. For sure. Chris Kreider. Okay. Final pack, so we should be expecting a hit in here. Let's see if it's anything thick. You turn it around. Mm -hmm. Oh, we might have an auto fax. That or maybe be a rookie cool. redemption, which would be even better. Oh. Yes! Oh, it is. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Well, okay. Oscar Kaufbaum is a good player. I already have his auto, though. So an auto fax. I really wish that was a I thought because of the... Um, side that was a um, rookie redemption that was a special but uh, mm -hmm. oh well you win some you lose some this is probably a loss once again oh, hitting okay. a bit of a cold streak cleft bomb best hit of the box maybe or the Svechnikov rookie redemption nice card though yeah nice card and finally Victor Hedman base card okay well hopefully ice is going to be nice to me Trying out a box of 1718 Upper Deck Ice back here once again at Mirage Trading. And uh, hopefully we can hit something incredible here. Uh, the luck out of, well, lately has been pretty mediocre. And so uh, that's not so fun. Hopefully we can turn it around with this one and uh, get something incredible out of here. There are only six packs in a box and four cards in a pack. And uh, you get one hard-signed autograph and a memorabilia or exquisite card in every box. Uh, there's also sub-zeros with parallels of that. And uh, basically what you're looking for in a box of ice is one of the uh, Ice Premier rookie cards numbered out of 99 only. And so there are only a few select uh, rookie cards that you can find uh, for that. But uh, hopefully we do get it in here. And, uh, well, we're going to have to see what we get in here, but uh, hoping for some luck, maybe a Besser, um, something close to that would be extraordinary. Oh, there we go. 
finally got through the uh, wrapping perfect and um, yeah I'm really excited to opening uh, up a box of ice Let's see if I can uh, there we go stickers off and uh, yeah hopefully hopefully my luck can turn around that is uh, all I'm hoping for in here so let's go we have our little flyer in the box um, for uh, 1718 products so that is <laughs> different releasing May 2018 yeah and uh, Splendor and SPA okay let's go super quick break only six packs the base cards back uh, in 1718 were acetate so all the cards were acetate and let's just pray for a very nice um, Ice Premier's level one out of 99. We have Eric Carlson, decoy in our first Ice Premier's Alex Kerfoot. Oh, okay. It's not a level one, but it's a level two out of 249, number 18 out of 249. That is definitely decent. A few marks on uh, the acetate part of the card. I don't know if that's normal, but uh, I will take a level two. Radulov and Jakub Voracek. Okay, well that's that's at least decent. Um, he is going over to Toronto, and so hopefully he plays well there. And uh, yeah, that was well, Alex Kerfoot. Not bad, but not the best. Okay, we seem to have a sub zero here. We got Pavelski, Scott Hartnell, and a flurry sub zero. Okay, definitely decent. And Nate Schmidt, following that. All right, we're already a third of the way through uh, the box. That is how insanely fast a break of uh, ice usually is. So, uh, oh, and we do have a nice Premier's autograph, and it is a blue, so that's not great. Oh, darn. Oh, no. Tage Thompson, out of 299 auto. Well, maybe he can break out somehow. Vanek and Sagan. But, ah, that's, that's not great. Not very good at all. Pretty frustrating, to uh, say the least. All right, Duchesne, Marlowe, our other ice premieres is very bad. Jan Root out of 12.99. All right. And Ben Bishop. Okay, two packs left. Come on. Can something save us? Maybe, uh... Very nice, exquisite something, a passion. And we do have an exquisite in here. It's a rookie, but I do see that. I think it's a capital, which is not great. Oh, no, it's... Okay. Again. Just meh. Um, Owen Tippett. Exquisite rookies out of 275. Number 48 out of 275. Ah, oh, frustrating. Frustrating, frustrating. Okay. And Holtzby. And Mashasu. All right, final pack. Come on, something great. Save the day here. We have another ice premieres, but I did accidentally see the name. It's not great. It's a Jean Sebastien D. Out of um, twelve ninety nine. What have I done? I'm messing up my entire pile. I've got a bishop base there. All right, there you go. D. Out of twelve ninety nine. And Daniel Sedin. All right. Well, that is. Uh, <laughs> How underwhelming 1718 ice really is. Um, it's cheap, so I mean that—that's what it has going for it. Uh, it's about half the price of a box of uh, 1819 ice, so you can get it for relatively cheap, but uh, you don't get much, I have to say, in a box of that. Uh, <laughs> uh, biggest hit, probably the Kerfoot, maybe the Tage Thompson. Um, Recap of the bigger hits. We got the Jean Sebastien D, Tippett, Jan Ruta, the Tage Thompson Auto, and a Kerfoot out of 249. Um, yeah, okay. That's frustrating. See you guys next time. Bye.
usually fairly terrible. Bobby Ryan. Max Patcher. Oh, here. Day on ripping wheat, wheat. <laughs> I can't. Oh, all right. This was a box of ice with some foam in the bottom. If anyone wants this foam, message me. I'll send it to you. And uh, <laughs> thank you so much for watching this video. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for some more videos, and I will see you next time.